Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change or add an entirely different desktop environment to your Linux installation. For this particular video I'm going to be using an installation of Ubuntu 20.10 which ships with the GNOME desktop environment by default and then installing the KDE Plasma desktop environment alongside it. That being said, the method shown in this video should work for any Ubuntu based distribution. So the process of installing using multiple desktop environments is relatively straightforward, but there are a couple of things to consider before doing so. Uh, first of all, I strongly recommend you create a separate user account for each of the desktop environments you have installed. And the reason for this is that often the themes or config files for desktop environments are stored on a user by user basis. So this could potentially mean that if you have all, everything stored under one user account, you could have conflicts in themes when they initially load up. Not exactly something that's game breaking, but it can have some strange results. Uh, second, many desktop environments will have their own default applications. For example, having KDE Plasma and GNOME installed will mean you would now have two separate terminal emulators, which in this case is console for KDE and terminal respectively. Again, not really something that's game breaking, but something to consider. Finally, applications that are developed in one environment will look at odd in others. For example, installing Caden Live, which is developed using Qt. When you launch it in Ubuntu with GNOME, it kind of looks out of place. That being said, if you do it the other way around, so for example, using GNOME specific software in KDE Plasma, you'll find that at least Plasma has the option to theme the GTK applications. So I recommend before you install a desktop environment, you ensure that your system is completely up to date. Now, usually you can do this through your distribution's update manager, but you can also do it through the terminal as well. For example, on a Ubuntu-based distribution, the following command will update your system, and that command is sudo apt update, ampersand, ampersand, sudo apt upgrade, and then dash y just to confirm. Of course, once you've run this command, reboot your system, and then you should be all up to date. So now that we're confident the system is up to date, we can move on to actually installing a new desktop environment. So in this particular video, we're going to be looking at KDE Plasma, and you can install that with the following terminal command. sudo apt install kd-standard. Alternatively, to install the Mate desktop environment, you'd use the following command, which is sudo apt install mat desktop environment, mat desktop environment extras, and then Ubuntu Mate themes. And for Cinnamon, it's sudo apt install Cinnamon desktop environment. And finally, for xfce, it's the command sudo apt install xfce4 xfce4 goodies. Now, obviously, we're going to be installing KDE for this particular video, so we need to run that command that we did before, which is sudo apt install kd standard. Do I have my password? and then confirm the installation. Now the installation time will vary depending on your system specifications as well as your internet connection speed. Now more than likely you'll be prompted at one point to select a display manager. So I recommend you stick with the GNOME desktop manager, which is the top one here. So press OK. So once the process is completed, reboot your system. So to sign into a new desktop environment, all you need to do is select your user account, go down to the gear at the bottom or what the equivalent is for your particular distribution and choose the option for plasma. Type in your password. So there you go, that's all there is to it. So if you decide later on you want to remove a desktop environment, you can do this in a couple of terminal commands. So just make sure that you're not using the desktop environment beforehand. So for example, to remove KDE Plasma on Ubuntu based distributions, you're gonna use the following command, which is sudo apt purge space kde dash and then the star type your password in and then press y to confirm what you're going to be removing again shouldn't take too long to do this and then finally just to confirm you've got nothing left over because you may get a message saying that there's several files that are no longer required, you can remove them with this command, which is sudo apt auto remove. Once again, press y to confirm. 
So with that, you've successfully installed or changed your desktop environment on your Ubuntu based distribution. And it also brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.